yeah. They say that couldn't happen. <laughs> and I'm back on this rap. Yeah, yeah. Bless one. Shout out all my people. All day. Up north, down south, east to the west. Another day up in this life. Yo, 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 we are back. This is George I. Courtright, and you have just tuned into a mad week with who? George I. Courtright. As you can see, I am on location. Ah, yeah, yeah. uh, oh shit. You stream looks like uh, it's going to be fucking up here and there, so it looks like it's going to be... Uh, mostly this Facebook, so mostly we gonna concentrate on you because you stream is messing up. So hello, cousin Kina. Uh, but like I said, I ain't alone. I am here with a buddy of mine. Who the hell are you? What up, everybody? Once again, back on the show here with my homie George. My name is Marlon, aka Bless One. We're on location today at my crib. And uh, just feels good to be back on the show, bro. Yeah, uh, I, I liked what he had to give to the show last time. We had a good banter, good uh, conversation. And I said, hey, if I need you on the show, I'm willing to come to your place and do a show on location. So he was like, hey, I'm down. And I appreciate it, man. Absolutely appreciate you being on the show today. Yep, yep. Absolutely appreciate it. Uh, so we start off the show. Uh, I'm still gonna be trying to get back onto uh, uh, you stream. Maybe to pop on you stream. You gonna be in and out. It's tricky and shit. Uh, most like oh n announcement. Most likely I'm gonna be getting you rid of you stream and just going Facebook Live the whole time. Mm -hmm. So uh, eventually it will be just Facebook Live. But, uh, this, yes, uh, wifey just said we lost her on Ustream, so wifey needs to go on Facebook, uh, to check it out. But, um, that's the new thing. Facebook Live is probably going to be the primary joint from now on, but that's from now on. Um, so how was your weekend, brother? Man, it was good. You know, I went on a little vacation, you know. Yeah, yep, 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 uh, yep, yep. Got some little R&R &R and uh, back at home. So it feels good to be back in the valley. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, man, just working, same old, doing good. Uh, checking out all the current events happening. A lot happening in the world, man, you know. Everything's uh, going on. Did you take the time to go outside and check out that solar eclipse? I didn't. I was at work. I didn't get a chance and you didn't, to. I, ain't nobody had no, no glasses no, at work for no, you? No, I, I didn't get a chance to, man. I was at work and I was busy. And by the time it was time, it was it was, it was too much. It was gone, man. It was gone. Yeah, uh, I was at work as well. Uh, but when the moon first started going into the spot, uh, people had glasses and whatnot and was just checking it and then when it said oh at such and su such time it's gonna be at the most it's gonna be so when checked it out all right i can say oh a witness history is gonna happen yay times in your lifetime so might as well watch it oh fucking well you know that is something the eclipse the eclipse okay it's you know just like going to the grand canyon you peer over all right, I saw the Grand Canyon. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, Move yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. You know, it wasn't like, hooray, let's celebrate pop popping bottles and shit. You know, it's just something. All right, you can say you saw it. Man, I think it was a moneymaker because, like, a lot of those people oh, on the shit. stream, they were paying, like, $700 to make it a hotel just to watch it. and Dude, uh, one of my uh, co-workers, well, a couple of my co-workers are from Idaho, and they said that, uh, Idaho was in one of those like lines of totality, so uh, from there you'd be able to see the you know the full like full eclipse and shit. So like two million people travel to Idaho just to see that shit Man. for those two minutes of you know total eclipse and shit. 
yeah. they drove or flew or vacationed in Idaho just for that shit. Yeah, it's ironic because you're paying seven hundred dollars, all that money to see two minutes of action. Exactly. Kind of like maybe possibly this weekend's fight. You might oh, be paying all that shit. money for that. You never know. Uh, what he's talking about is the Floyd Mayweather Conor McGregor fight. Uh, some people are very hyped about it. Uh, it's gonna. I just because it's Floyd Mayweather, I want to see what's going on. Yeah. I want to see what's going on. So, you know, all right. I, I'm not paying for it. I'm not going to uh, call in to my uh, cable provider and, you know, pay for that shit. But if I'm at a bar somewhere or somebody has it, I'll watch it. Yeah. But, yeah. no, I don't think it's going to be that entertaining. Floyd Mayweather fights aren't entertaining whatsoever in the beginning because, you know, he's just... Named, Duck and dodging, defended. Name, name the last time Floyd Mayweather actually knocked out something. Or I don't. I don't. The last time uh, Floyd Mayweather fight had any kind of uh, <laughs> like whoa factor was when uh, Sugar Shane Mosley rocked him. Yeah, yeah. He got rocked, yeah. and then he was like, "Oh fuck, I need to really fight now." <laughs> and then what he do? Just you know, yeah, did his yeah, defense. Yeah. Jab, jab, jab. Couple good ones, bang. You know, but he ain't knocking nobody out, like you said. What do you think of this guy McGregor, though, man? He's talking a lot of smack. Uh, like, he's well, he's talking, he's talking a lot of smack because the more smack he talks, the more people going to watch it, the more money he makes. Yeah, that's and that's all it is. It's all about making that money. Yeah, yeah. You know, right. he's going to make the most money he's ever made in any of his fights. Probably more money than all of his fights put together. I'm just throwing that out there because I probably just made that shit up. I ain't even gonna lie. I probably just made that shit up. Yeah, yeah. But it's gonna be a shitload of money because it's a Floyd, uh, Floyd fight. Uh, so I just read uh, on Facebook one of the people that you know I follow and they follow me and shit. Uh, he's like they should have put this fight in a octagon just so uh, it's Floyd's like you know style. It's Floyd's boxing, but it's uh, Connor's home like court. Yeah, yeah. So try to make it a little bit even, but it ain't gonna be even. It ain't gonna be fair. It ain't gonna be fun. But shit, once again, just like the solar eclipse, eh? I want to say I saw it just to say I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah. bet you, I bet you George is gonna order it last minute. While no, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I don't order too many pay per view things. The last thing I did was order the fucking. John Bone Jones fight. Yeah. See him get the title. See him knock the fucking Cormier out or whatever. I uh, put some money on the under. He he made some money for me. And then, which is one of the fucking news stories, he's got uh, John Bone Jones failed in competition drug test. Uh, he, I just found out he hasn't been stripped of his title just yet. Uh, because there there has to be a second uh, test. Uh, sample B uh, will get tested for confirmation, and that may take up to two weeks for him to get the results back. But he got um, what was it steroids? It, it was anabolic steroids. Turn ter, turnable, 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 some shit like that. Mm. But yeah, steroids, and you know uh, he was banned from uh, MMA for like a whole year because of uh, failing drug tests and shit. Um, hold up. Let me let me try to get this back on as well. Yeah, I know we got some viewers trying to get on that Ustream. Yeah. George is trying to make it connect here. I'm, I'm trying to make something work uh, Ustream wise. Uh, so if you got people up uh, now it's back up. So, uh, welcome back, you stream. Um, we just got through talking. Oh shit! Oh yeah, there's a little bit of a lag. You gotta turn that off, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta turn it off. Uh, <laughs> shout, out, shout out everybody out there that tuned in. All our friends, we got uh, a few viewers. Cream on the inside. I yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we just got through talking about the uh, fight that's coming up this weekend, as well as uh, the. Did you ever start watching that big three, the big three uh, tournament, I the did. championship of yeah, that? Yeah. I, it, I, it did not interest me. I 
I turned it on, watched it for probably about three minutes. Up, oh, Ustream's back down. Ustream is sucking balls again. So Facebook Live, you are the people. This is where I'm gonna focus my shit right here on you guys because you're not gonna fail me, are you? You ain't gonna fail me, right? All right, but anyways, uh, I watched the big three for about three minutes, and it just it just wasn't right to me. Yeah, man, it's like they're kind of like no action, like just kind of ball hog, and I don't know, man. I just I couldn't get into it. It's like really, it's like watching at the park, you know, people. Just yeah, kinda, yeah, pretty kinda, much. Yeah, I'm not going to watch some playground park, yeah. you know, stuff for some people who aren't in the NBA anymore. Yeah, they used to be in the NBA, but they ain't anymore. I don't yeah. want to watch that shit. Yeah. But uh, I guess they got picked up for another season uh, for uh, Fox or whatever. Fox, who was ever carrying it on the TV, who was uh, showing it on TV. I'm not sure. Uh, they got picked up again, and uh, it, I guess it did pretty well. I heard that so, uh, that um, Allen Iverson didn't show up to like one of the events. Yeah, Ice Cube like suspended him. or Yep, something. suspended for a game, but then uh, brought him back. But Allen Iverson is just acting like a fucking asshole. He's getting too big for his britches, you know. And he's one of the major names that people are coming out yeah. Uh, yeah. to see. Ain't yeah. nobody coming out. Ooh, I want to see Chauncey Billups. <laughs> 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 Ain't nobody giving no fuck about that. <laughs> yep, yep, that's right, that's right. Uh, but that's going on uh, this coming weekend. Uh, oh, let me tell you about what I did this past weekend. Uh, I bought Wifey some golf clubs. Really? Yeah. Nice. Uh, a friend of ours is moving away, and she was selling her uh, golf clubs, so bought them for Wifey. So uh, I told her she can't touch them. She can't touch uh, the golf clubs until we go do uh, a lesson. Nice. Uh, nice. Do a golf lesson. I don't yeah. All right. Yeah, someone was just calling. Yeah, so, someone was just calling him right now. What? Yeah. So I lose connection when people call me, and yeah. who calls people anymore? I know. Who right? calls them? Whoever's calling in, stop he's calling. Doing, he's doing a show right I'm now. Doing a show right now. Unless it's bill collector. Hey, shout out to I my paid homie. all my bills. Shout out to my homie Jamie. He's tuning in. Bogey boys, you know what's up, my golf buddy. We were just talking about golf. My homie George here. We yes. Got, we got a few times to go out and play. Oh yes, and uh, and we had a good time, and uh, you know, Ooh, I I I, ju I need to get better, and oh, like I said, uh, we're gonna go out there with wifey, uh, get some lessons, and I I really need some lessons, yeah, yeah, you know, and maybe I can start hitting them right, hitting them better, because when I went on the tor tournament, like I was telling uh, my buddy here, uh, I just wasn't doing well whatsoever, man, so uh, I told wifey. We ain't gonna let you hit the clubs until you get some lessons so you can actually learn professionally how to do it. So we got her some clubs. Uh, we went and saw um, Dion Cole. Uh, oh, really? Stand up. Oh, I see that. Uh, yeah. At uh, Stand Up Live. Oh, he was, was he? Was he good? Yeah, he was pretty good. Uh, he's one of the people. I, I've been a fan of his since uh, he was on the Conan O'Brien show. He was like a writer, but then he'd do some of the skits. Um, on the show, and so I've been a fan of his for a while. And yeah, I used, to, I used to watch him with that uh, old, uh, what was it, that Russell Simmons show back in the day? Uh, what was what? it called? Uh, uh, the Deaf Comedy Jam? Deaf Comedy Jam. When he, he was, was on there? Yeah, he was under like, shoot, like 20 years ago. I used to watch that. Oh, show, wow. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I used to love me some Deaf Comedy Jam. Uh, it's surprising that you can't find like a DVD package of the whole complete series. They got like the best of or some shit somewhere, but I haven't seen the whole like complete series. That's something that definitely would be cool to get because they're some of the classic ones, you know? Yeah. Most of the major comedians mm -hmm. went through there at least once. Yeah, we need, yeah. To, we need to nominate George to do some stand-up comedy. Ooh, yeah. stand-up. Oh, oh who's now, this guy? Who's now this guy? I'm, uh, it's, it's, it's Jason here. Oh, oh man. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh... That's who called me, somebody else. Uh, and we may need to pause um, for a quick break. Um, so let me finish out what I did. And also went to the Cardinals game. I also yeah. went to the Cardinals-Bears game. The, Bears? the Cardinals need to fucking do... If the Cardinals don't act right, 
they ain't going to be nothing, man. I don't know, and Did man. you watch that I preseason watched, game? I watched the game. They couldn't stop that run from Chicago. They couldn't stop. The, they, and that happened uh, the first game, too, the, yeah. the previous game. They can't yeah. stop the run. Yeah. Uh, they ain't. They don't look that good on offense. They ain't sharp. They ain't crisp. They're not crisp. Yeah, well, hopefully they get those kinks out because, you know, we can't afford that shit in the regular season. Yeah, and otherwise we're going to be just as bad as we were last year. And that, that ain't cool, man. That yeah. ain't cool. Yeah. But uh, that is about it for the weekend. Uh, let's take a break. I will be back shortly uh, to start on the news. Uh, I wish there was some, like, song or dance music that you can listen to while I'm on break. Uh, but they're right. So, I'll be back shortly. Yo, what is up? We are back. We're back. We're back. We are back. We are back. We are back. Uh, I want to apologize for the unprofessionalism, the um, bullshit. We still working on this. This ain't professional. This ain't NBC. This ain't the Tonight Show. This ain't the Steve Harvey Show. <laughs> this the Uh Mad Week. With George I. Court, right? With my special guest, Marlon. Bless one. Shout out to everyone out there watching. We having a good night tonight. Talking about all the good events. All the things happening in the world. And uh, we were talking about the fight earlier. We are talking about George uh, taking up some golf lessons. Trying to, I gotta take the wifey to golf lessons. Uh, let's get... Uh, let me let me get something off my chest. I fucking hate stupid people. Stupid people are fucking dumb. Like, if you take the time and listen to what somebody tells you, take the time and read the information given to you, exactly. you will learn things and you won't look fucking stupid. Exactly. I just got rudely interrupted uh from a situation, we're just gonna say, from a for a situation, because somebody didn't want to take the time to do shit on their own because they're fucking stupid. So I fucking hate that shit. But hey, we're back. Yeah, we don't mention names, but we're not gonna mention any yeah. names. We're not gonna mention all the details of the situation. But the situation is bullshit. But um, you know, I always in most shows saying, hey, uh, please. Stupid people, stop being stupid. So therefore, I won't have all these dumbass stories to uh, discuss on my show. But guess what? People still being stupid. People being dumb. You know what? That happened to me. You know, I do music, and you put out a flyer, right? You say, okay, <laughs> this is the date, this is the time, this is how much it costs, and this is where it's to be at. And when the show starts, you always get that dumbass saying, Yo, Marlon, where's the show at? How, how much does it cost? Who's going to be there? What time you go on? 
I'm like, did you read, did the, you fi- read the damn flyer? The reason he know to call you is because he saw the flyer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, the, all the information is right there, but yeah, you still want to ask questions and shit? Come on, people. I don't know, man. Be grown up. Man, we old now. We old. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to deal with stupidity anymore, man. Yep, yep. I'm done with that. But uh, let's get on to uh, some of the shit that's going on in the world. On people, man. People, man. People. <laughs> like I said, dude. <laughs> uh, why? All right, but anyways, let's get into the news. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to want to get you back on the show because this show fucking sucks. All right, I'm down. I, this I'm down. show is so unprofessional, so bullshit. So let's get through you know, these stories and shit. Hopefully this is still recording. Uh, somebody out there, let me know if you're still watching, you still, if this is still recording, because I can't tell. It looks like it, but I am not sure. Let me know, Megan. Um, all right, one of the things that has happened, uh, like I was talking about, we were talking about basketball. Uh, you know who Zach Randolph is? Yeah, yeah, Zach Randolph. So, uh, on the 10th of August, um, <laughs> this is an old story. I, I caught wind of this story uh, a little bit later than usual. But Zach Randolph was arrested for marijuana possession in L.A. Uh, he was caught on the street and he fled, but he got caught. By the cops. And uh, he had two pounds of weed on him. Damn. Two pounds. Uh, so he was arrested, even though it's legal there. You know, you got two pounds on you. They, they're they going to charge you with the intent to sell. Um, and his bail was a uh, $20,000 bail. And, yeah, he a motherfucker had two pounds. I'm not all about, you know, knowing about drugs and all that shit, but I know two pounds of weed it is like in a brick or something, like yeah. a couple bricks. It's kind of suspicious. If you're carrying that much, I mean, I know you want to smoke, but are you really going to smoke two pounds from it, the, stepping away from the house and going back to the to the crib? I don't think so. But it, it, he's a an NBA basketball player. It's not like he need to make that money off selling weed and yeah. shit. You know, if he... You know, you just think, you know, you balling like this, you, you know, a couple millionaire or whatnot, your boys and all this shit, it's, it's like me. When uh, I like I like to drink. I got a lot of alcohol at my house. So when people come over or whatever, I provide the alcohol. So his, his people like to smoke. So he all the money, he providing all the weed. Yeah. yeah. All, of all, the, yeah. all of the weed. All of the weed. But unfortunately... Uh, and he's not with uh, Memphis anymore. He's with Sacramento. Really? Got yeah. Traded. Uh, uh, either got traded or uh, free agency or some shit. But he ain't in Memphis no more. He was uh, in Memphis for I think eight years. It said, but he is in Sacramento. Uh, next story that I have up uh, is not really bad, but. It kind of could be, depending on how you uh, look at it. Robin Thicke. You know Robin Thicke? Yeah. The uh, singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Alan Thicke's uh, son. Uh, him and his girlfriend, uh, April Love Gary, uh, are expecting their first child. Uh, oh. You know, he, uh, he got divorced from Paula Patton uh, officially in March 2015. Okay. So, it says he started dating this chick a couple months afterwards. Yeah. Now, Robin Thicke is 40. Yeah. His girlfriend is 22. Damn. And like I said, uh, he did his divorce in 2015. He did his divorce in 2015, met his girlfriend shortly after that. That means he met his girlfriend when she was 20. Hmm. And he was 38. So, uh, I know love is blind. Love, you know, you can't help who you fall in love with, but that's an eight. Teen year difference. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. He must be something got him, got his mind on that. You know what I'm talking about? What? Right. <laughs> that, that young thing. Yeah, that that young, young thing. Young, yeah. uh, <laughs> we both up in that age. Uh, could you see yourself dating a 22 year old at your age? Um, I'd say it'd probably be fun, but. <laughs> but 
after a while, you know, what are you going to talk about? What You know, they can't relate yeah. to you in life. There, there is a... You it's know. like a lot of things. Like, you know, I make a lot of old school references. You know, even now, my me and my wife can't uh, relate on all everything because, you know, we have different backgrounds. She didn't come from where I came from. You know, I, I'm referencing movies, doing movie lines, and she's like, what? What's all that? She doing movie lines. Like, I don't know that shit. You know, so somebody that's growing up 18 years different. You know, I'm graduating high school. Yeah. You know, some of the things that influence you the most are, you know, uh, like middle school, early high school, you know, late elementary school. During that time is when you know all them songs, yeah. you can talk all them uh, movies, the lines from movies and shit. You can say all that shit. Yeah, you'll be talking Super Mario while she's talking oh, about yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a great one right there. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly like, what it is. There's no, I'm that, like, there, there's no crossover. Yeah, there's, yeah. There ain't no crossover. Yeah. Uh, so, but love is blind. Uh, love the one you with. Have a good time, whoever you are. Love is a beautiful thing. Yes. yes. So, uh, congratulations to them. Uh, congratulations. Uh, I saw one of my friends is having their fourth child. They already had two boys and a girl. And it said they are having another girl. So they're wow. going to have four. Wow. And uh, I don't know if she's watching or not, but I remember when they was talking about, oh, we don't even know if he wants children. Now he got four. Damn. So uh, I ain't saying no names. Once again, we ain't trying to say no names. We ain't trying <laughs> to put people's business out on the street. But congratulations to them. Congratulations to all the people out there having children that you want. Yeah, a little golf clap, little golf clap. Uh, golf clap, yeah, golf clap, yeah, 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 yeah. golf clap. <laughs> All right. Uh, we talk about bringing life into the world, and we have to talk about some lives that have left this world. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple major ones were Dick Gregory, which is um, an old school uh, comedic uh, uh, legend, uh, comedy legend Dick Gregory, as well as comedy legend Jerry Lewis. Uh, Dick Gregory passed away on the 19th and Jerry Lewis the day after on the 20th. So, um, you know, once again, that's before my time. Yeah. So if I were to date uh, 18 years older than me, she'd be talking about the Dick Gregory and the yeah, Jerry yeah. Lewis. I'm talking about Chris Rock and <laughs> Chappelle. <laughs> But uh, I still know that um, they were staples to comedy and entertainment uh, prior to my time. So, uh, unfortunately, they passed. Uh, hopefully, moving on to that upper room. <laughs> uh, we're, we're all going to get there eventually. We're so. all going to get there. Yeah. But, unfortunately, their, time, their, uh, their train their train left with them on it. Yeah. So, uh, um, they're probably up there with Sammy Davis, all those legends, all, right all them, yeah, yeah, all of them, all of them having a good old time. Yep, yep. All right, speaking of good old times, one thing, uh, you're not gonna be doing if you are at a NFL game in the new Atlanta Falcon Stadium on a Sunday, what? you're not gonna be eating Chick fil A. Uh, there, there will be a Chick fil A in the new, uh, Mercedes Dome or whatever in Atlanta where the Atlanta Falcons are going to be playing. But Chick-fil-A is not open on Sundays. Did you, I, what? I never knew that. I, I never knew that either. until I, I never knew that until I read this article. It was like, yeah, because of uh, the owner's religious beliefs, it's not open on Sundays, but yet there's going to be a Chick-fil-A in the stadium, but since most NFL games are going to be on, on Sunday... Sunday it ain't going to be open during that time. There's going to be one Monday night game that is going to actually be open. Uh, so, it'll be, uh, yeah, it'll be open during that time, but it ain't going to be open the other times. But, you know, there's going to be concerts and, you know, hockey, not hockey, but uh, like soccer and, you know, all the other events that's going to go on in that stadium. So, it's going to get used. It's not like, oh, it's never going to be used. But because there's other events that's going to be using that. Yeah, I mean, I get what he's doing, but wouldn't you have some staff that... Dude. People, man. People, man. And I apologize. I'm a jack-of-all-trade 
uh, master of none, they say. And, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm being pulled in all different directions and I gotta, you know, do uh, multitask and stuff. I got a side business uh, doing vacation rentals and situation is happening where situations is happening. That's all I'm gonna say, man. And my buddy here is watching it firsthand and yeah, seeing how yeah. stupid shit can be yeah. when you own your own business. So, uh, ooh, next story, next story. Keep it rolling, uh, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it. Did you, you hear about these uh, nudes that were leaked of Tiger Woods and Lindsey Vaughn? No, I didn't hear about that. Tiger Woods, Lindsey Vaughn, uh, somebody, there's these hackers, I don't even know how the fuck they do it, they hack into people's phones, go into the cloud, you know, get all this, you know, information, get these pictures and shit, you know, yeah, they used to date several years ago, uh, but she had, you know, like, you know, when, when you're with your loved one, you send nudie ass pictures and shit back and forth, and... You may or may not save them. Obviously, she saved them, plus some of herself. And the hackers went up to the cloud, tossed yeah. them, and gave them to some uh, website. Uh, they both were talking about, hey, if you don't take this shit down, we're going to sue. And they still might sue because it was out there, you know, without their permission. You can't just put, you know... Uh, nude pictures of people out there is an invasion of privacy. Yeah. I know in California there's a law against revenge porn. Yeah, I heard about that. that revenge yeah. porn. So you can't just, oh, because y'all ain't together and now you hate this motherfucker, I'm gonna put their business out on the internet, on a porn site or whatever, and, you know, get my revenge and, you know, people hating all that shit. Yeah. So, uh, after threatening the porn site uh, to take, them, take the uh, pictures off, Tiger Woods and Lindsey Vaughn got their pictures taken off. But, they're not the only ones that got hacked. You know, uh, there was other people like Miley Cyrus. Miley but, Cyrus. Yeah, who, who She's got, already out there. Yeah, yeah. She, she, she be putting her shit she out there herself, anyway. Yeah. Nobody wants to see that shit anyway. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to see Miley Cyrus. Uh, Kristen Stewart. She aight. Yeah. She alright, you know, just because she was, you know, the spot, the Spider Man girl, uh, you know, Kristen Stewart, okay, I'll check you out, you know, Spider Man girl, uh, and then uh, Catherine McPhee, uh, she was on American Idol and then turned actress. Uh, she alright looking. But you gotta think though, some of these people they strategically kind of They're, put themselves out there to increase their value, their stock. Yes. Uh, Kim Kardashian. Uh, yep. Um, yep. Yep. Who, yep, else, yep. who else put themselves out there? Uh, Janet Jackson at the Super Bowl. Uh, but that, that was that a was, that, that was, was a, a that was a uh, wardrobe malfunction. Yeah, it was like, a wardrobe malfunction. Who who would ever want to put their titty out in the Super Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want your titty out in the Super Bowl, Janet? Why? Yeah, only ladies get, can get away with that shit. You don't see no guys fucking. You don't want to see uh, Donald Trump naked. I mean, no, no one you don't want to see him naked, but, well, Tiger Woods, uh, his stuff was out there. Uh, <laughs> a few years ago, there was a shitload of people that got hacked, uh, including my girl Kate Upton. Ooh, she nice. Uh, but her boyfriend, uh, Justin Verlander, that pitcher or whatever, yeah, yeah. he was out there too. Yeah. So uh, people's business be getting out there. Oh, shit. I think Usher got put out there. Jamie Foxx got put out there. A couple oh, of Usher. You, oh, oh, man. We already talked about that. I ain't trying to bring that back up. Yeah, that song. I don't called- want to come back every... <laughs> I was going to say that song Confessions by Usher it has a double meaning now. Man. I think it's something else now. Uh, <laughs> so he hasn't come out and said that if he has herpes or not, do you think do you think it's true or what? I don't know. I I it's kind of, you know, none of my business TMI. No. I don't really care, but I mean, damn, man, like she really put his ass on blast and yeah, I mean, it, I'm sure that she ain't the only one, so, like, I don't know, man. She might be just doing it for money. If not, I'm waiting for the other girls to come out, because I don't know. But she said, you know, why didn't she tell her, or why didn't he tell her? Oh, that yeah, he, he's trying hurt. to sue her to give her the exposure, uh, because she exposed, uh, he exposed her, but she got checked, and she does not.
have it. But how does how does she know that she got it from him? Maybe it was some No, necklace. she don't have it though. She don't have it. She don't have it. He, she's just suing because uh, he exposed her to it. Now this, uh, uh, some people are out here. There's there's people. There's like ambulance ch chaser type people. There's these gold digging people who just see an opportunity and try to get that easy money. Yeah. Whether yep. oh hey, uh, I'm gonna walk down the street and anybody that cough on me, I'm gonna sue you because <laughs> you 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 know, get, yep. Yep. I might ha get a chance to be sick. I yep. might have got a chance. You coughed on me, motherfucker. You yeah. know, it's, it's people like these. People are fucking ridiculous. Get a goddamn job. Exactly. Get an education or something. Get a job. Do something for yourself. Stop trying to take money off other people in a sh shysty ass way. It's yeah. bullshit. So, ooh. Ugh, craziness, yeah, no, man. man. Craziness, man. Crazy man. Thing. A mad week. A mad week. Speaking of a mad week, mystical. Turned himself into, <laughs> into the cops. M rapper Mystical. I'm not a fan of Matt, Rapper Mystical. I've not been a fan of his music. I did like that song that he did with uh that one DJ whatever. Fucking, you know. Uh, I forgot. Whoever that. did that Uptown Funk with uh, Bruno Mars. I forgot, man. And he did that Mystical song. Well, that shit was popping. But... Prior to that, I could give a fuck less about Mystical, but he turned himself in because he is alleged, uh, he turned himself in per allegations of rape. Uh, his bond was set to two million dollars. Damn. Two million dollars. Two million. Two that, million. That's, uh, that's all his record sales. That's your... <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's saying he uh, he pleading with the judge to try to get it down because he says him and his family and friends can't afford that shit, which is understandable. But this is rape. So if we're charging you for rape, and not only are we charging you for rape, but this is the second time. Damn. This is the second time. Uh, he served six years for pleading guilty to sex, uh, sex battery and extortion, in two, and he was in jail from 2003 to 2010. Uh, he also was in jail for another three months for domestic abuse. So yeah. it ain't like he just, you know, uh, a good, clean, wholesome guy. That <laughs> and this is first thing. Oh, you know, two million. That's a that's too much. He's a good, wholesome guy. He ain't doing nothing wrong. You know, let's get you know a hundred thousand, whatever. No, this is a second offense on this shit. So we gonna set it up high and. Uh, they're saying uh, this. He's, he's like a violent freak, man. He needs to tone that shit down, man. Uh, it's, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know him personally. And it don't seem like I want to know him. Uh, <laughs> but it's the the rape uh, happened supposedly, allegedly, in 2016 after a concert in Shreveport, uh, Louisiana, and now uh, she came out about it, and he. Turn himself in, which is you know, it, some if you know you're guilty, usually you try to run. But if you you know think you're not guilty, you turn yourself in. I guess maybe that that's the thinking. So we'll find out who's right, who's wrong on this one. I'll uh, keep abreast of the thing. I'll post it on uh, a Mad Week Facebook page. I want to thank everybody for sticking with me. I know it's a rough one today. Tonight's a rough one, but. We're going to get through these stories, uh, have Marlon on uh, again, make up for it, have a better show. Have a better show because this shit is horrible right now. But we ain't done yet. We still going. This is still a mad week and there's been still madder shit. Um, let's go. We talked about that. Oh, did you play the Powerball? I did, and you know what? Woo! I fucking lost. <laughs> nah, -uh. no, you didn't. You didn't lose. I spent my whole paycheck, and I lost. Ah, uh, well, no, I'm it, sure. it, it got up to seven hundred fifty-eight point seven million. Seven hundred fifty-eight million dollars. Someone in what? Massachusetts? Somebody, someone? yeah, uh, Chico P, Massachusetts, uh, at Pride and St Pride Station and Store. Uh, it's like uh, a few miles outside of Boston. Let me guess. So it was one, one me, ticket. Let me guess. It was someone old, right? 
Uh, I didn't see who won yet. Uh, I don't know if they came out yet. Uh, I know there's a certain date that you have to do it by and something like that, especially that big, you're going to want to go to the lawyers uh, and get shit arranged first before you got to find out the rules. Some states, you can remain anonymous. So you don't want to just put your business yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. If you can remain anonymous, I, that's, remain, that's remain hard, anonymous. That's still hard to do because everyone's going to find out. Vincent. Not everybody. Shit, if I win, I, I think you don't, you're going to remain anonymous in uh Arizona ain't ain't too many people yeah. are gonna know about me I'm gonna <laughs> still be doing this shit you just don't know that I ain't going to another job <laughs> we'll buy the whole network by then I ain't, no I ain't I ain't buying no goddamn Ustream that's for damn <laughs> sure <laughs> shit keep turning off on me uh there was a did you hear about this rally for uh Colin Kaepernick outside the NFL office? I heard about that. Yeah, I heard uh, about that. that I, I want to know what's your take on that. Uh I think you know I'm I'm an Arizona Cardinals fan. I'm an Arizona Cardinals fan. Colin Kaepernick played for the San Francisco 49ers. So honestly, I could care less about anybody wearing a 49ers jersey. <laughs> So therefore, when I say this shit is real, I think it's bullshit what they doing to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's bullshit that uh, he's getting ostracized uh, for taking a knee, and now all these motherfuckers are doing it and shit. Marshawn Lynch k- sitting down, and he's been doing it, it, you know, and shit is going on like you know usual. It's just bullshit that. Somebody is using his freedom of speech to do something non-violent just to make bring awareness to some bullshit that's happening in the United States, which people should recognize, like, yeah, there's bullshit going on, and that's why he's kneeling. But people are l- looking at him as a liability or just going to... Uh, you know, upset fans who don't believe in that shit. It, it, I think it's real stupid. Yeah, my coworker, man, she's a she's a Seahawks fan. She doesn't like the 49ers, but man, everything she says, Whoa. you know, about Colin Kaepernick, she's like, man, that guy this, that guy that, and but she hates him. Yeah, she don't like him. So, I mean, I can understand that. There's probably a lot of people who are hating on him, so it's hard for him to get a job anywhere, no matter even if it's football, no matter where he goes. I don't even see him doing like. Telecasting with sports commenting. I don't think they do that. Uh, I, there's just got to be a way for them to get in because it's bullshit that there's uh, other um, quarterbacks out there that he is better than. And I understand, uh, I, I keep reading up on it, um, they're saying he is a starting caliber quarterback. If you don't want him to be a starter, you really don't want what you really don't see that good of players being the backup quarterback like us you don't see starting quarterbacks being backup quarterbacks yeah, yeah. usually they have there's a real big drop off yeah <laughs> so if people really think that he's a starting quarterback they're not going to bring him in as, as number 2 yeah so i understand that but i still think there's bullshit i think you know the Miami Dolphins could have picked him up uh uh, what should we call it? The the Ravens have opportunity to pick him up, and also Jacksonville. Now they benched Bortles; they could pick him up. But uh, I hope he gets a job. I just don't want him with the Cardinals. I, I, nope, I don't care nope. less. We, we don't need him. Uh, but um, the rally was in front of the NFL office, and one thing they did say about the rally, uh, Tamika Mallory. Uh, made sure that they let uh, people know that the rally wasn't just for Colin. It was uh, for free speech and against bigotry. So it's not like people marched in front of NFL, give Colin a job, give Colin a job. No, it's just because if Colin did it and they you know, did this to him, what if other people spoke out about some of the bullshit that's going on in America right now and wanted to show you know, what they thought about it? Are they gonna, you know, get punished? Are they gonna be kicked out of the league and not let back in? You know, it's bullshit. So it was cool that they marched in front of the NFL office for that. Yeah, yeah. I think you know, there's a point where am I gonna keep my job? And shut up. 
or am I going to speak my mind and risk losing my job, my income? So it's kind of each person's choice, you know, what are you going to do? It is each person's choice as well. Yeah. yeah. I understand that, but don't be a pussy just because money could, you know, be involved, you know. Some people just, you know, are more materialistic than others and yeah, but it's still your own choice. So I understand where you're coming from on that. Um freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Uh that whole shit in Charles uh Charlottesville, Virginia. Oh man, man. Uh well, one of the major dudes, uh white nationalist Christopher Cantwell surrenders to police and he was charged with using tear gas and causing uh, malicious bodily injury with uh, a caustic substance. Pretty much uh, that before the whole uh, march on Saturday where the car ran through the crowd, yeah, they yeah. had that little tiki torch marching in the street. Yeah, this yeah. motherfucker brought tear gas and pepper spray. He was throwing tear gas at, at people and shit, and he ended up uh, pepper spraying somebody because he said he was afraid for his life, and that's the only way. It was... <laughs> Either pepper spray him or beat the shit out of him. Wow. And now he's uh, getting charged with three felonies. Man. That shit, like, totally was just bullshit. And another another story that came out of it, which I found fucking hilarious. And I brought, I had a picture on a uh, Ustream, and I'll weave it into the uh, YouTube version of this. Uh, Tiki Torch. Tiki Torch is a brand of Tiki Torch. And um, when they were marching in the streets Friday night, all these Nazis uh, talking about, you know, we won't let Jews replace us. You know, just being fucking bigots and white supremacist dumbasses, they were holding these torches and shit. <laughs> well, the manufacturer, manufacturer of Tiki Torches made sure to come out and say, hey... We don't support that shit. <laughs> Although these white racist motherfuckers was using our shit, we don't support it. They released a statement. Tiki brand is not associated in any way with the events that took place in Charlottesville and are deeply saddened and dis disappointed. We do not support their message or the use of our products in this way. Our products are designed to enhance backyard gatherings and to help family and friends connect with each other at home and in their yards. Backyard gatherings and to connect with family. Family. Bring people together. Together. Enjoy in the backyard. Love. love. And have love. Instead of going around like <laughs> like they were chasing off Frankenstein and shit. <laughs> I know, man. I was like, damn. So I thought that was fucking hilarious. Tiki Torches was like, man, we ain't fucking with these motherfuckers. That, that ain't got shit to do with us. Uh, and, oh shit. I had two other stories that had visuals. I'm going to hold those. My, I don't know what I'm going to do because this fucking show pretty much sucks dick because stupid motherfuckers. Uh, but there was a typhoon. In China. Did you hear about this shit, man? Oh, I'm not sure. Natural, natural disasters, man. Natural disasters. Claiming lives and shit. Uh, it killed at least 16 people in uh, Macau, which is about 40 miles away from Hong Kong. And 27,000 people were evacuated. Uh, 2 million people uh, lost power because of this um, typhoon. Typhoon Hato. H A T O. Hato. Hato. Oh, whoa. Hato. 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 I don't know. Oh. I, I I don't speak Chinese. I can say Chinese because it was in China, and it's not just being racist and saying the first Asian country I know. Uh, so uh, I think that's all I can do. Right oh no, no. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes people go too far. All right, we were talking about, you know, the tiki torches. We were talking about the racism. You know, uh, that Charlottesville shit happened because there was protesters protesting that they were taking down Confederate uh, statues. Yeah. And then there was protesters against those protesters talking about, hey, we don't like fucking bigots and Nazis and shit. Well... <laughs> 
they're, they're starting to take down a lot of these Confederate statues across the country. You know, a lot of places in the South, that's where most of these Confederate statues are. It doesn't show what America's about. It's, it's giving acknowledgement to people who were trying to support and keep slavery in this country. So it's a new new turn in, our, in, in the chapter of America. We're taking that shit down. Oh, white people are feeling left out. So, oh. some, of, some some of these bigoted, bigoted white people are feeling left out. Oh, but I said some people go too far. Well, there was a petition uh, that calls for a statue to replace one of the Confederate monuments that they're taking down yeah. to be Missy Elliott. What to yeah. replace <laughs> replace <laughs> Missy Elliott? They want a statue of Missy Elliott to replace. One of the Confederate monuments that they're taking down. This Whoa. is in Portsmouth, uh, Virginia. That's where um, Missy Elliott was born in 1978, 1971. Huh. Uh, this petition already had 27,000 signatures. In support? In support wow. to put a statue of Missy Elliott up instead of the Confederate uh, statue that was there. So... Alright, I appreciate that, you know, hatred and, you know, people who supported slavery and all that shit is coming down. Does Missy Elliott seriously need to get a statue up? <laughs> Probably not. You went too far. Yeah, you went a little bit too far. Yeah, I think, I mean, if you're going to say Missy Elliott, is that for her music, a contribution, her humanitarian effort? If it's music, she's just a lot of more <laughs> before her time. But that's where she's from, though. Oh, she okay, was okay, born okay. there. Okay. I don't know. I'm not from the area, so I can't really speak. Uh, she, well, she ain't popping like that. Yeah. She ain't popping that like that. So anybody who who's known on TV or in music, they need a statue wherever they were born? That would be weird, having a statue of yourself, you know, in your town. I mean, like... like nah, you know. nah. If I get popping out here, I want a statue in Waterloo, Iowa. Yep. I see somebody from Waterloo is on. All right. You heard it first. Would you like a statue of me next to, let's see, my high school. Yeah, my high, near my high school. West High, Waterloo. Okay. A statue of George I. Courtright. Okay, so you heard it here first. George doesn't get a statue. So what kind of pose, is, it, what kind of pose is your statue going to be? Right there. You, got, you gotta have it, the hand on the chin right there. You gotta have it. You know? Eh. Just right there. Right there. Deep thoughts. Okay. Nice nice little suit on and shit. All right, nice. All right, all make right. sure I'm clean. Clean. Right there. But thank you all for uh, joining me. Sorry that this was on and off and shit, man. Well... We're going to do better. We'll do better. Yeah, it's all um, good. I'm George I. Courtright. This is... My name is Marlon again. Thanks for having me. We'll do another show again. Thanks to all the people that tuned in. Uh, back again. Looking forward to this Saturday, the fight. McGregor and Mayweather. I know Mayweather's probably going to win. I want to see McGregor get some punches in. But we'll see. see. We'll see. Shit. I'm not going to buy it, though. I'm not going to buy it. Put your music up. I'm not going to buy it. Put your music up. Oh, okay, but yeah, yeah. That's my buddy. He's also a rapper. Yeah, once again, my album's out there. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and check it out here. Blessed One. Blessed One. I got the Rise Above album, the Straight Out of Nowhere album, the Tribal Live album. That's the old school classic right there. Shout out to all the fans yeah. and people out there. And Native also, American Grammy. And then also uh, the Blessed With Skills album. So uh, four albums deep and... Uh, Thank you for all your support. Check me out at blessedonemusic.com. Go to download the album. And uh, thanks for having me again, George. We'll do another show again. Oh, definitely. Uh, sorry again that this wasn't uh, the best show because of interruptions and shit. Uh, please go on YouTube when I load this up and piece it all together to see the whole show in its entirety. I may or may not uh, put the extra shows and there I might do a little piece uh, so I can put the visuals and shit for the other stories once again I'm sorry tune in next week we're gonna have a better show for you thank you this is George I. Courtright oh Matt Week Matt Week we out
Yeah, yeah. Sending this out worldwide. All my people in the struggle. Up north, down south, east to west. It's time to rise above your situation and rise above them expectations. The time is now. Let's get it. It was all destined to happen up in the actual fashion. Turn my dreams to reality, born and bred for this rapping. No time to write this down. I live by my actions, staying true up on mine. Got no time for distractions, I'm on the rise. Like vitamins, you know I'll be good. Put me back in your system, you know I'm keeping this hood. Throw it up, represent. Vote these rhymes into lit. Spread it out, my real peeps. Yeah, I know y'all feel this. Sitting shotgun with my homie, conversations are wild. Yeah, we getting so close, but she keeps passing me by. Plan to see to increase. I got this feeling so live, like your boy came from.